Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Ms. Ingram, for being here today. Uh, I want to ask you some questions about the health care exchanges, but first, if you would indulge me for a, a second, we've had uh, a lot of our colleagues on the other side of the aisle praising your service and defending your integrity at the IRS, and I'm uh, not sure I have any reason to doubt that. I don't know you very well. Um, do you believe, just as an American, I know you worked for the IRS for 31 years, you're probably proud of the organization that you worked for and served. Uh, do you believe that Tea Party groups were indeed targeted? From what I understand at this point, and I have not followed all of the discussions or certainly not the press and so forth, I am, um, I do not ever think it is okay to use people's political viewpoints in the managing of inventory in the tax agency. I am not familiar enough with exactly what had happened, but when I sat in on a meeting in the spring of 2012 and when I skimmed the TIGDA report this past spring, I was um, upset at the way um, activities were described. So you think it is appropriate then that this committee continue to pursue uh, investigation as, and find out who is responsible if this indeed happened? Uh, I would never voice an opinion about the prerogatives of this committee, sir. Okay. <laughs> well, that's, that's probably fair. Um, but nonetheless, it seems like we are under fire today for wanting to get answers for people uh, for just what you said. It is never right for the IRS to target anyone for political reasons. The President spoke out against it. Now it is being called a phony scandal. Do you think it is a phony scandal or do you think that it warrants further investigation as an American? Sir, I don't personally engage in the public debates either about investigations Do you or have an opinion? Over my career, when there have been any questions or allegations about something not going right, and particularly if there is a whiff of any kind of personal bias, which I have not heard, but any uh, concerns about allegations about the appropriate handling of cases, I have always thought that TIGDA was the appropriate place for me to turn to ask them to look into things, and I understand that they are part of this process. Okay. Well, let's talk about um, some of the problems that we are encountering with the rollout of the health care exchanges. I would like to ask unanimous consent to enter a Wall Street Journal article dated September 19, 2013, into the record, Pricing Glitches Affect Rollout of Online Health Exchanges. Without objection, so ordered. Okay. This uh, article references the fact that less than two weeks before the launch of insurance marketplaces created by the Federal Health, o health Overhaul, the government software where can't reliably determine how much people need to pay for their coverage, according to health insurance executives and people familiar with the program. Uh, for people familiar with the development of the software that determines how much people would pay for subsidized coverage on federally run exchanges said it is still miscalculating prices. Test calculators initially scheduled to begin months ago only started this week with, uh, at some insurers, and uh, there was a statement that there is a blanket acknowledgment that rates are being calculated incorrectly, according to a senior health ex executive who didn't want to be named, said our tech operations um, our tech and operations people are very concerned about the problems they are seeing and the potential of them to stick around. So um, according to the GAO, the Federal Government spent $400 million to develop the Federal Exchange Data Hub. After three and a half years and $400 million, why did the website fail so dramatically last week? Uh, the IRS isn't part of any of those activities, sir. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, are, are there any plans to provide relief from the individual mandate for individuals who are unable to access the Federal Exchange and obtain minimal coverage or essential coverage? Um, I would posit that it's a little early to even have that conversation. Well, let me ask this. Do you think that you could have been better prepared to implement all of this if you had another year? The IRS? No. Do you think everything is as good as it is going to get right now? I think the, IRA, the, the responsibilities that were assigned to the IRS, we planned, we built, we turned it on, and it is working. What will you do to people who can't pay their portion? If you subsidize 
a family, say an average family of four that gets $5,000 and they have to pay, let's say, $5,000. What if they can't pay that? What are you going to do to them punitively? What is the only thing that is of interest to the IRS in administering the individual responsibility payment is which uh, months that family has insurance in effect. We are we are not directly involved in wh whether the individual is behind on their payments to the insurance company. What we get told is which months are their insurance in effect, and that is the only question that is relevant for us. Does that determine the penalty that they pay or the extra taxes that they pay? That is the underlying uh, piece of data that goes into that calculation. Okay. I thank the gentleman. We now go to the gentlelady from New Mexico for five minutes.